Aquarius, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers. All of my new subscribers, thank you so much. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. So this is just a general energy check-in. Um, I'm focusing on the energy of the person you are dealing with. It's, so this is a love reading. It could be for an ex or someone that you're dealing, currently dealing with now. This is just what's going on with them and what's going on with you. So to my left is what's going on with the person and to my right is what's going on with you. So this is a general energy check-in. It may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, check your sun or moon rising. That may help you to connect the dots. Or there is a possibility that this just may not be your reading today, and that's cool. Just click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Also, I did have a promotion going on that when you book me for a full in-depth personal reading, I will throw in three programs for free. That promotion is now over. However, there is a contest going on where I am giving away two free readings to two people. So it's one reading each. It's just for two people. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram and put a butterfly emoji in the hundred, sorry, the thousand subscribers post on my Instagram, I will be picking two people randomly for a free reading. So from now until January 1st, 2021. Okay, so if you feel so inclined or you're even interested in that kind of um, contest, I encourage you to look at the bottom of my description box. The link for my Instagram is there. So feel free to join if it's your thing and it floats your boat. Okay, so Aquarius, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Let's jump into your reading. So we have here action. Three of swords in reverse. Ace of air in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Eleven of Fire in reverse. Page of Wands. Maiden in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. And Ace of Earth in reverse. Okay, Aquarius, it looks like Okay, so the first person whose name pops into your head during this reading, that's who this reading is for, if it resonates with you. So, Aquarius, it looks like someone wants to take action. Someone wants to apologize to you. Yeah, someone wants to come towards you with an apology. Someone didn't act right with you. Someone did not treat you good, Aquarius. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. But this person, they want to apologize, but they're so um, indecisive and hesitant. Uh, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is very confused. Uh, they could have a mental illness or they suffer from anxiety. But this person, they're very lonely. Uh, also, Aquarius, if you don't know, now you know you and this person are not compatible. Mm -hmm. This person, they are, It's they're sorry about all the mistakes that they made with you. Yeah, they are. As this person, they, the last three readings I did, I don't know if it's just the theme for the air signs or what, but all, so far, Gemini, Libra, the person you're dealing with, self-sabotaging behavior. Maybe that's just the theme with you. You guys just attract people that just do fucked up shit. <laughs> Don't feel bad. We all do. We all do. You got to clean out your in inner world to attract the right people, right? But Aquarius, it looks like this person, they, they did a lot of foolish things. Uh, for some of you, this person can't really help it. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this person has some kind of mental disorder. Yeah, so it's like a chemical imbalance. They could um, have uh, bipolarism, manic depression. So they can be really manic about things. 
Mm -hmm. So one minute they're really, really obsessed with something and the next minute it's like they're not interested in it at all. Mm -hmm. So that's why this person may have been very hot and cold with you. They could have been going through a bipolar episode and not even realize it. Because for some of you, Aquarius, this person does not know that they have a mental illness yet. Mm -hmm. uh, for some of you, this person, they went through a lot of trauma, a lot of trauma in their life. Uh, and that is why they, except for some of you, this person, it's, um, it's hereditary mental illness. Hmm. But they, they did a lot of self-sabotaging things in the relationship with you. This person could have cheated on you a lot. They maybe didn't even know why mm -hmm, they did it, but they have their very immature energy. Yeah. This person, they show up as a page, right? So very immature, emotionally immature. Uh-huh. I'm seeing somebody who has like a temper tantrums and this is like a grown ass man, a grown ass woman. And if they don't get what they want, they just, they do some really spiteful things out of having a tantrum, right? And it's like, nobody has fucking time for that shit. Are you an adult or what? This person, they did a lot of, um, they could have been very sneaky. Mm -hmm. uh, they, this was that type of energy that will, they had no problem doing something to hurt you for personal gain. They did not care about the consequences of their actions. Yeah. So this is someone who would cheat on you and not even... They didn't care that they would get caught, right? Because they believed that they wouldn't get caught. Mm-hmm. It's a trickster, you know? Kind of con man, con woman. Someone who was very... Um, they would contradict themselves. So they would hold you to a very high standard and have very high expectations. You're supposed to be this. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to fucking smell like this, right? But they did not follow their own standards that they had for themselves. They were a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. So they may have held you at a standard like, oh, if I'm with someone, they need to make a certain amount of money, but they could have been broke. Mm -hmm. Or they need to live in a certain type of house or work a certain type of job, but they didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Or you needed to act a certain way, but they didn't do that. So it was just like, no. And this person, they had a tendency to make things harder than they needed to be. And that's because this person has an imbalance inside. They're not balanced. For some of you, this person, um, they're too much into their um, masculine energy or too much into their feminine energy. So this person could have been like um, over aggressive or oversensitive, right? And it's because of an emotional or chemical imba hormonal imbalance or chemical imbalance that they have. So they had a chemical imbalance that caused their emotions to be out of whack. Mm hmm so it's like one minute they're feeling great remorse and they're really sorry about what they did. And the next minute they're just like, ah, oh, fuck you. You deserved it. Right. And it's just like, what the fuck is up with you? Mm -hmm. Very emotionally immature energy as well. And they're not confident. They, they lack confidence in themselves. Self-esteem. This is not somebody who will go for their dreams. So it's like they kind of push it on other people. That's why their expectations of others is so high. It's like they vicariously live through others instead of just doing your own thing. This person too, they also, um, they feel embarrassed. They feel embarrassed. They can't make a decision. For some of you, this person did something that was very, very embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Embarrassing to them. Like, you really did that? Are you serious? And they know they did a lot of things in the relationship with you that caused losses. You took you took a lot of L's with this person, Aquarius. A lot of L's. This person, they're very... Because they're not emotionally balanced, they show up emotionally immature. They're not very certain. Like, they can't make decisions. They don't stick to their decisions. They change their mind a lot. You know, they're very hesitant to come towards you because they know you don't want their ass no more. They know that you're done with them. Absolutely you are. So they doubt they doubt that they'll even you would even accept their apology. They feel embarrassed inside, ashamed. So we have you, Aquarius, showing up as all tied up in reverse. Mm -hmm. Seven of Earth and Youth. 
So Aquarius, you decided to untie yourself from this person, mm -hmm. loose yourself. You may have felt trapped, bound, stuck to this person. You're not doing, you don't feel that way anymore because you know what you realize? It was all in your head. You never had to be with this person. You never had to stay with this person. And you definitely never had to put up with the shit that you put up with with this person. It was all in your head. And you started to go within and realize that. And once you realize that, you were just like, I'm over this. I don't need to be with you. I need to be with me. And I can definitely attract somebody who will treat me better. I don't need to put up with this shit. You don't know if you're coming or going. But I know where I'm going now. Yeah, look at this. This is you. You know what you want. You want something new. You want a new adventure. You're done with same old, same old, same shit, different day. You're done with that. You want to be around people who get you. Mm -hmm. You want to be around people who want the same things you want. And you are being divinely guided to go within and figure out what you want. So you can attract those things into your life. Mm -hmm. You're starting to discover what your passions are. You're healing. You're shedding old layers of yourself that no longer resonate with who you are. Yeah, the old Aquarius that would put up with this fuck shit, they're gone. They don't, no, no, no. They don't associate. They don't interact. They're not interested. They're not attracted to anymore. No, no, no. You want new things in your life, bigger and better things in your life. And you freed yourself so that you could go towards that. Absolutely, you did. So I don't know, Aquarius, this person, they want to come towards you. Somebody is coming towards you. They're a bit hesitant right now, but they are eventually going to come towards you to apologize for the behavior that they were on, right? The foolishness that they were on. I don't, I honestly feel like you won't even give a shit when it comes to them. You don't have a fuck to give. But we'll see what happens, you know? Pull your cards again and see what happens. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, can I get a like, please? If it doesn't, that's cool. Just not your reading today another time. Click the notification button. Also, like I said, I do have the contest going on right now where you can win an absolutely free reading from me. So um, just click the link on the bottom of my description box that will take you to my Instagram page where you can put a butterfly in the post of the thousand subscribers. Subscribers. <laughs> the thousand subscribers. Sometimes I get tongue tied, you guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. And um, I'm going to be randomly picking two people. So Aquarius, have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.